Hello everyone, and welcome back to our Docker Gamma Ecologist run. This will be episode 9. Last episode, we did some missions around Garbage and Agriprom, uh, finished a few missions in Yantar, and we ended up back in Rostock. We managed to find some pretty interesting stuff, and between episodes, uh, I... Um, Finished off in Rostock last episode, and between episodes, I decided to go back to Yantar, pick up the things that I had stashed there, and uh, move them back to the base in Dead City. So, here we are. Uh, and I actually managed to almost fix our AK, though now that I'm looking at it, it's 762 by 39 which is not the most easy to find ammunition and uh, we can't buy it from Dead City because Dead City only sells NATO ammo so that's going to be a bit difficult. I also partially fixed our Ruby um, ecology suit which will be amazing once we get it fully fixed up. Unfortunately we need to get it to at least I'm gonna say 70% so we need to find a few more parts and I also dropped all the mutant parts that we had stashed and fixed our Colt M1911. Um, it was only missing a couple of parts we, which we already had stashed and I also found, found a uh, silencer for it. Right, so for now we're gonna keep on going with our MP5A3. I bought a little bit more ammo, so we have 200 HP rounds, which will last us for a couple of mutants, I guess. <laughs> um, also, I upgraded our backpack and uh, our detector to a bear detector. Um, I did buy the recipes, the first level recipes, uh, in Rostock last time we were there. So, I, I also did that and that should help us a lot with carry weight now we have a max of 97 kilos which is amazing right so today i would like to um first of all get these two stashes in that city which we have and then i would like to move to garbage we have a couple more stashes we have uh, finally enough flesh meat to turn into butcher and we have a yellow stash down there. And after that, I want to go to Great Swamps and uh, finally do the artifact mission around there. So hopefully we'll make it in one episode. But yeah, that's, that's uh, it for now. So let's uh, start up the episode. And of course, if you like uh, the content that I'm putting out for you guys, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and of course, drop a comment. Right, so where are these stashes? First one will be in the building right here. Now, while I was here, the mercs did deal with a controller and I managed to loot the uh, a controller brain off of them. Oh, that's... that's... a lot of rads. And we still don't have a lot of good rad resistance. Just gonna... Oh, boy. Here we go again. <laughs> In the meantime, I have been doing some... Um, lab runs on a different save. And I kind of forgot how bad we had it with radiation in this run. Um, this guy not sell matches. It's probably going to be the guy upstairs. So let's quickly get over there and get one or two packs of matches. There we are. We're also pretty low on food, but we have some moldy bread. <laughs> Oh, 
There they are. Yes, I can afford 10 matches. We might actually have to take a nap before starting our, our uh, move to garbage. Time to settle down for the night? It's 5 in the evening. Ooh, a dead snark. Right, we're on HP ammo. I don't have any um, Hydroshock, unfortunately. I would like to have some, but, uh, well, it work out. And I'm not hearing any mutant noises, so I guess we're clear for now. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> right. Uh. uh, I mean... We do have something to clear the rats really fast if we need to. I think the stash will be um, up here. Fire? It looks like we're out of the radiation for now. Where the hell is this thing? Is it on top of the building? Oh, there we go. Oh no, that's just the floor. <laughs> okay. Um No, nah, I don't want this. But I'll take the multi-tool. Amazing. Alright, let's I'm gonna have to pop another one of these. I'll take this lesser one just because I'm gonna try and run out of here as fast as possible. Trying to listen to see if there is any mutants around. Doesn't look like it, but uh you never know in this these uh, little uh downs. Oh, and here are the rats again. Pop open another lucky. <laughs> and, uh... Oh, here it is. Okay, just take anything, everything and run. I really don't want to do anything bigger than cigarettes. <laughs> really like to get my uh, Merc reputation up so I can finally re recruit someone. Okay, so let's check on our task board. Come on. Although, being in Dead City, I think I said it before, um, is uh, not really working out that well. Do we have a stone flower? No, we do not. Uh, simply because, well, Merc's like killing stuff and, uh, oh, Dangerous Mutants, we'll take that one. Rooming Kit, um, sure. We accept something instead of the Grooming Kit again. I feel like we did. That's the Dangerous Mutant thing. And, uh... That's the duty guy, and yeah, we took subcontractor. Well, on the bright side, I think it's a monolith, so uh, that should be okay. Your hands, no, no. Don't flower, we don't have one. Yeah. Well, we have some grooming kits, at least. And we can just turn them in right now. Oh! For a moment I was hopeful there. Uh, 
Um, I'm gonna check for respawns just a second, because it has I'm been a little while, that. no? There's someone fighting over there. That's boars. Let's not waste bullets. We'll, we'll let this guy deal with them. Or we'll let the boars deal with him. do we have to deal with here? Unfortunately, we didn't get to loot it, but uh, I don't think we'd make it out of a bloodsucker attack without any without any wounds, and we're really down on meds, so having it die like that is honestly preferable. Okay. Um... Anything else we have around here? Not really. Ooh. There's actually a few stashes that we can pick up in army warehouses. And a whole lot of radiation if I go through here. So, let's stick to our original plan. Let's go to garbage. Get those, uh, those stashes there. And uh, after that, we can... Uh... After that, we can... Uh... I mean, you know what? No, nah, let's, let's go to army warehouses. It's, it's much cooler. Then we can head the uh, garbage and finally uh, into the great swamps and actually do some artifact hunting because... I mean, we are ecologists, but we're, we've been kind of uh, ignoring our duties. <clears throat> One more. I think the other one was just uh, an image. Ooh, wow. That's a lot of good loot. Oh, here's the rats again. Damn it. Okay, so there are a couple of fire anomalies here, so we'll just try and go around them, preferably without slipping into radar, and then we can just go all the way up here. It was just the wind, I thought I heard the dog. And here it is. That's not bad. Got 
Gotta love invisible invisible barriers, right? Okay, let's see. Okay, and we're out. Here we are, Freedom Base. Okay, um, I like this. What does it need? Oh. Another set of advanced tools. Fentanyl. Uh, that's good. And a Seva bodysuit. Which is honestly better than what we have right now. Less burn, more electrical. Less radiation resist. Um, that's, that's one thing I don't like, although with one upgrade we could fix that. And an actual good shotgun that we can fix. Well, yeah, it should be good. And we need historic weapon kit. Yeah, it's gonna be amazing. But we're gonna take all of this. Oh, and there's another stash, but I think it's behind that pack. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm not even gonna entertain that with a thought. Wow. Big red upgrade. That's really cool. Someone's doing some fighting over there. Hey, you duty guy, Craney. Ah, thought he might he might want to come with me, but uh, he doesn't. Okay, here's the stash. Military service suit. I'll disassemble this, and we'll take the rest. Okay, let's uh, do a little task for check. Let's see what they want here. Maybe we'll have something. Um. Mutants in garbage, we'll take that. Even if it, we don't do it right now. And search the stash in garbage, love that. Snork legs. Um, tie sucker hands, yeah, I'm not gonna find those in time. Snork mask. I could take a lot of these and just uh, come back and turn them in, but I'm not sure what I have or don't have in my stash. Uh, and speaking of stashes, I'm gonna drop off some stuff here. Right, um, gonna leave that gun, this armor, basically the, the have your stuff. Cause, uh, we'll, we'll come back through here when we go back to, uh, to the base. So whatever we don't want to sell, we'll just drop off. We really, really need some more food. Okay, I think that's going to be all right. Привет, брат. Oh, this guy actually wants to go to the Great Swamp. Yeah, yeah. Come with. We'll go to the Great Swamp. Okay. Ooh. Always forget about that that anomaly there. Oh, there's some fighting go go going on over here. Who's fighting who?
This was you, Rod. I have no idea what happened there. Oh, wow. That's actually not bad. Oh, and there's a stash here? What? Uh, did I just get this stash? I mean, a bit more FMJ ammo? I'm... Happy to grab it. Right, there was another bandit around here, I think. Let's see. Oh, there he is. I mean, I don't know why I'm even looking at the weapons since I, I can't really use them. Yeah, I, I would have loved an SKS. Right, let's uh, check on these. Nothing important. Ah, I was hoping for a stash. And also, we can unpack the batteries from the ones we checked. Mark these as favorites. And, uh... I think we actually might need these for our, um... Oh, we even got some 45. So this will make killing zombies a little bit less uh, expensive because we can pull out our sidearm and deal with them that way. Right, I'm not sure what these guys were fighting. Okay, let's see. Do we have anything to do here really fast? Package to Rostock. I'm coming from there, not going back soon. Uh, no, no. All hunting. From Butcher. Sure. We can do that. Um, no, I want to do the flesh meat for Butcher. And where are the other mutants? Oh, I think these are two missions in one. Which is just perfect. And we also have a stalker with us, a loner, so he'll help us out. And over here, there's usually snorks or zombies. Maybe dogs. Or boars. If I keep going, I'll, I'll go over all of the... Okay. Or fractures. Before it came toward me. Got it. Alright, so I got both missions. There's also a stash up there. Uh, and... Oh, one of them is for uh, Barman. Yeah. And the stash is right here. This is an anomaly field. Okay. And there's the little stash. It's some more ammo. Which I'm not unhappy about. Okay. Are there any stalkers over there? Yeah, it's it's a loner. We're good. I'm gonna keep this out right now. Since we have a sidearm, uh, I'm I'm a bit more confident in keeping the uh, the detector out. Oh, it's the stash on the crane. Not my favorite, I'm gonna say. I would love to be able to vault on it. Can we? Oh, well, that makes it a million times easier. 
Okay. And the Molsenberg. I'm not sure if this is better than the MP. The 5 mag size, 8 mag size, I, I'm tempted to take it just because of the better magazine size. But I'll take both of them and we'll see what happens. We can disassemble this for parts, a lot of upgrade materials. That's, that's actually pretty amazing. And I might have to drop a lot of the stuff um, uh, here with Butcher. Okay, job is done. And the other job is done. And we have two more stashes. Okay. Um, not sure what we could sell to Butcher. Do I want to sell anything to Butcher? Not really. Uh, I could instead buy a sharpening stone set because our knife is not doing so well. And I would love to get a little bit of Hydroshock. Not that much, just a little. Just like that much. And all of the HP rounds. And that's going to have to be enough. Right. What else do we have? There was a yellow stash down here. And hey, do you want to join? No, he doesn't. And we can switch the gun to Hydroshock as well. I thought I heard something weird, but I think it's actually uh, my upstairs neighbor uh, dragging something on the floor. Not sure who exactly he murdered, but... Uh, Okay, uh, since we're here, we might as well take a quick look at the anomaly fields in here. And there it is, it's a ball. We should be able to reach, there we go. Ball's not radioactive if I remember right, so it should be safe. Yeah. As for the mutant kick, honestly, I'm totally not impressed with it. I've tried it. It, it is funny, but uh, it's so risky getting that close to mutants. Okay, and yellow stash. This is just useless. But gunsmithing tools are actually really good. So let's take everything. And I forgot to drop drop stuff off at uh, at Butcher's place. But well, that's that. Okay. Before we move on, I want to prepare for the cordon checkpoint where there's usually bandits. Okay, here we are in Cordon, and bandits have already seen me. Did I hit my guy? Okay, that's not good. <laughs> uh, 
Let's go! Sorry, my dude. Oh, you'll live. I hope. <laughs> right. This, this was uh, much more annoying than it should have been. Um... Uh, it's just a bolt. Sadly, we already have one. Okay, any other bandits I missed? Okay, uh... Now, I don't know if you remember, but I did say if we find the gun for hip, we will take it just for the mission. I will not use it, I will not take parts from it. I mean, I should take parts from it. But uh, we will turn that into hip. And then we can start the amazing adventure of uh, looking for snort hands. Привет, брат. Okay. And we got a set of basic tools. And now we need um, eight snork hands. No, привет. Which is definitely gonna be really fun. I love hunting for snork hands. Did I say that already? I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so where do we actually have to take this guy? Um. А вот такое вам как? It's not even in our missions. Uh, about the job, where are we going? West of the pump station. What? Okay. I mean, sure, we can do that. Okay, here we are. And my main worry is there might be some... Uh... Oh, there is someone here. There's one, there's gonna be more. And I am us using uh, HP ammo, which kinda sucks. Oh! Hey, is there anyone else here? look like it. Although our guy is still aiming at something, so he be in here? Nope. Ooh, an SVU. Fortunately, it's very high uh, level, so we're not gonna bother with it. I mean, we need um, an advanced... Actually, uh, we need expert tools to get that repair kit. So we're better off just leaving it there. I disassemble a couple of things, maybe. Hmm. Ah, we're good. Let's bring some water. And we have to go to the church. Hopefully, with these artifacts, if we manage to get out, out of there without uh, taking too much damage, we'll actually earn some, some little bit of profit. Hopefully. Oh, they actually killed a renegade here. Okay. And here's the scientist. Okay. Each artifact emits energy at its own frequency. It's like an imprint, an author's signature on a work of art. The wider the scanning range of the detector, the more artifacts it can find. As a rule, stalkers are looking for artifacts with outstanding properties. Meanwhile, any samples from anomalies are of interest to science. Very interesting. 
Okay, and he also gave us a detector, did he? I'm honestly not sure. I should be alright anyway. Maybe one of these guys wants to join? No, oh, there's another renegade. Not gonna say no to loot. Okay, so where do we have to go? First of all, Thunderclap Anomaly. Should be an easy one. Uh, I hear footsteps over there. No. Just some mutants. And there's an artifact actually. Cocoon. Very nice. Our guy's actually fighting something, but uh, we'll just run and he'll uh, he'll follow us after a little while. a little bit low that uh, worries me let's use this to fix our helmet before it's too late i mean too late to be able to fix it with a 90 point thing and let's go get our first artifact it's gonna be right here under the hole There's also a stash here. Oh, oh, did just the empty cartridge. Okay, but we can just go back the way we came. Okay. Oh, we actually have some good uh, cigarettes here. That's bad. Gotta run back to the church really fast. Stop this ice storm. And we do not have an antibiotic, so... Well, actually... There's a down here? I really forgot about this. Come on. Why? Why did our reputation improve? I swear I have no idea what's happening half the time with this. Okay, let's just run straight to the north to get the stash. Should be right here. I'm gonna set a waypoint for it. Oh, actually, there was just an emission, so we have new artifacts spawning in. Where exactly though? It's a shell, but it's in the middle of... Oh, there we go. So, nice, nice trick if you don't know. If you go down and then you uh, go prone, you can actually pick up things that are a little bit further. 
So if you ever uh, run into an artifact that's in the middle of an of a of an anomaly like that, you can always just try and go prone next to it, and you should be able to pick it up uh, sometimes without uh, triggering it. Wow, artifact melter is big, also heavy, but uh, just having it is amazing. Right, next up. Anomaly in the burnt house. Smena magazina. Okay. Dog came pre-cooked. <laughs> okay, what else is there? There's a flesh that got burnt or eaten by dogs. Yeah, it also has nothing useful. And here is uh, the anomaly. And this one is a little bit of a doozy. I might just uh, do a med beforehand. Just find full health, and if I get burned, I can get that regen uh, going really fast. Ooh, an alert. On. Oh, okay. That almost triggered. And a magnet. Perfect. I think we got away without dying, which is amazing. Right, uh, next up. We can actually take the stalker um, back home, uh, to where he wants to go. But I am going to go north first, just because I don't want to, uh... I don't want to run through the, um, pumping station. Oh, they're coming. Yeah, our guy dealt with it. That's good. Did I not mark this mission? Hello? Oh, I can't mark it. Let's just set this as a waypoint then. Okay, this is another spot where mutants can spawn. So I'm gonna try and keep to the rocks up here. What? Oh, that's a flesh. Oh, pseudo dogs. Okay, those are a bit scarier. Just one? Just one. Okay. Come on, over here. And, uh, here we are. That's actually pretty good. It's really nice when they're actually on the way. I'm gonna want to take that stash and then we can go all the way down to pick up the last artifact. Ooh. Yeah, this this little uh, area is a little annoying. Oh, there's an artifact. A fun trick. If you shoot an artifact like this, you can sometimes push it out of the way just enough so that you can pick it up. Okay, that was not so good. Luckily the water is not very uh, dangerous around here. The Atparazin is really cool. And finally, the last artifact. And I'll take a Yadalin just to heal whatever I have left here. Ooh, a Hercules? That's really cool. I know you can 
They commissioned to fight the Chimera over here, so I really love if that Chimera didn't show up right now, especially now that I'm dizzy. But I think we should be okay. I don't remember being there being any more mutant spawns around this area. Though I might be a little wrong. I've been proven wrong before. Okay, this this artifact's always a little bit uh, iffy. Here it is. We can go around this and nice. We got it. Now this actual area uh, is very large, so ooh. but we can find other artifacts around it too. That's a chain, so let's do that little trick again, and hopefully we won't get bumped. Perfect. And from here, I'm honestly just gonna run straight to the clear sky base. Okay, let's check on the missions real quick. You know what, I'll take the wild territory loss signal. Scientists need a, uh, a stalker to lead them in the field of study. Yes, this is just uh, basically an AFK mission. Eliminate mutant threat. Another one. I'll take both. Steel wool. You know what? I'll do it just for the reputation. Renegades faction patch. Whoops. Yes. Flesh meat. A bit too much. Basic tools, honestly, I'd prefer to give them to someone else. Or morphine. Well, what does that get thing? Blah, what does that guy think? I'm rich? Right, and anomalous study in the meadows. Um, I'll, I'll take that. It's kind of in the way, although that device... <laughs> we have two kilos of devices. <laughs> Honest. But that, that shouldn't be a problem. Alright. So turn the in these things. We'll get a few stashes on the way, I think, which is really good. A night star. Which is also pretty awesome, but radioactive. Okay. Uh let's talk to the mechanics, see what we can sell. You know what? I still have a long way to go. Let's just turn in the basic tools to this guy. Get, get a little bit of cash going. Okay, what else do we have? Um, I probably can sell the slugs. Um, I'm gonna sell the field armor kit. It will be needed later for heavy armor, but uh, honestly, I'm I'm not in a hurry to get it just yet. Well, by 76 AP, I'm not gonna use that just yet. Uh, I will keep this for when we get the sniper rifle, maybe, and uh, whatever is too low to use in repairs. Okay. Uh, I will buy the hammers, just because uh, I need both metal and um, wood for some stash stuff and upgrades, of course. And let's see if we can upgrade anything. Mm. Five kilos of carry weight? You know what? Let's just do it. Right, and the final thing I need 180 and 185% to fix this up. Uh, 
And I can use the duct tape to fix the rest. Okay, that's perfect. Um, our SMG is a little bit uh, damaged, but we can fix it using this. And that should be okay. Right, next up, we can uh, talk to the doctor. We have some irradiated food, so if we get some uh, cigarettes, we could actually do one of these. Oh, actually, I don't think I can do that. Um, well, at least get this and we'll just... Uh, Leave the ammo for later. Okay, we still have some food. We have some rad clearing things. So let's just head back to the church for now. And then we'll be able to continue our little trek through the Great Swamp. We also got a yellow stash here, which is really cool. Oh, I'm not expecting there to be anything all the way there. So uh, I'll see you at church. Okay, so here we are, and let's turn in this mission. Where is he? I brought your glowing dirt, but what now? Well, we got a stash in Yantar, south of the entrance to the plant. We got 4,500 rubles. Uh, and a titanium grid. Uh, what is that exactly? Oh, it's for carry weight. But it does lower the electrical resistance by a lot. We'll just probably sell that. It does have some pretty good value. Anything else you need help with, Professor? As you know, Arrow managed to unravel the secret of the origin of the zone. This information is now available to many scientists. This has greatly advanced us in understanding the amazing nature of anomalies, how they affect the world around us and living, or living organisms. Now we are collecting a base of practical observations and measurements on the ground. This work cannot be called simple, therefore we are looking for helpers from free stalkers. Or a different reward, of course. You see, previously I measured the anomalies at Agroprom and found a number of strange abnormalities. Artifacts that form in these anomalies have unique modulation characteristics on the Nosphere. Nosphere. However, during my studies, we got a attacked. The situation got quite tense and we had to flee. In the confusion, I left my laptop with the scan data at one of the anomaly sites. If you can, please find my laptop. It will show the coordinates of the anomalies I scanned. Look for any anomalous samples you can find in them. Right, so this mission will be in Agriprom. Uh, the biggest problem, we'll have to get an artifact from here, one from somewhere around here, and one right here and we also have to get Kovalev's laptop. The problem is this anomaly is a very um, psi, it's, it's, it does a lot of psi damage so I'm not sure if we will be able to do it right now but we will try. Since the last time I've did it there has been a um, psi med rework so maybe if we take a psi resistance we may be able to do it, but we will see. If not, we'll just have to wait until we get some, um, maybe a better helmet, because that does give some Psy resistance, which means we will have to hunt more missions and more stashes. So yeah, uh, to do a quick recap, we started out in Dead City this episode, went through, to, through um, army warehouses, cleared a few stashes, got some really good stuff, went through Rostock, got a few missions, went through garbage, did a few missions, and then went to Cor Cordon, managed to find the Taws for Hip, which is very important. From now on, we have to look into getting some Snork Hands, and we can actually take uh, her to be our companion. And she actually also has an artifact search mission herself, which will be really good. It ties into our to our uh, shtick very well. And finally, we went to Great Swamps and we did the artifact missions in the Great Swamps. Uh, and we actually got a pretty good haul out of it. We got a spike, we got an electron, cocoon, a chain, 
two balls, a night star, and a shell. So these low-end level artifacts I might just sell, which is really good. We also found an artifact melter melter in a stash, which is actually amazing. We Once we get the recipes for the artifacts, we could actually work them uh, into something... Um, something that can actually be useful to us. Uh, other than that, we found an AK-74. It doesn't have a good barrel, but we'll still keep it. We found a Mossberg with a functional barrel, and I think I like it more than the MP-133 that we also found today with a fun functional barrel and bolt. So we found a lot of weapons. And uh, yeah, we also got a little bit of money, and uh, I should probably go back to Clear Sky Base and buy a bit more ammo so we can use it in the swamps. I also forgot to turn in the PDAs we have. But that will be it for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and as always, I will see you all next time.